Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, I went and ordered <laughs> a Y splitter because I want to put it on my uh, tap right regulator here. I took out the uh, hose as you can see down here. I took the holding, I'm working with two hands, I need three. So I took this out of the bottom of my regulator here and uh, I'm gonna put the Y splitter in here. And uh, after that I'm gonna attach my hose into the Y splitter here and then I'm also going to attach my beer gun hose and I'll just have it coiled up and taped over so dust don't get in it or whatever but that way I'll have my uh, I'll have my gas hose there anytime I want to use the gun so all I gotta do is just screw it on the gun every time so so here we go I'm gonna try and get this on so I'll let you watch if you want Get the soap bottle all the way. Got my plumber's tape here. Take a little bit of some plumber's tape. Let's see if we got right about. You can right about there. will be good. So, <clears throat> first thing I need to do is tape my Y splitter with some plumber's tape. This will help keep. Uh, It'll protect the threads and it also seal up any possibility of gas leaking through. So I gotta think about which way I'm gonna screw this on. So if I'm screwing it on this way, I need to tape it in a manner that screwing it on doesn't unravel the tape. So I'm gonna take it and just tape it around like so. Ah, I hate plumber's tape. Because it's not really tape. I mean not sticky tape anyways. Go around the threads with it, like so. Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure y'all can see this. So, plumber's tape on the threads. Next, I need to do is take the regulator. I need to thread this in. I cleaned out as much of the old tape as I could. There was a lot of tape in here already. Let me turn you a little bit so you can see. There's a lot of tape in here already, so what I'm going to do is start threading this in. And then I'll get, start getting some resistance. And when I start getting resistance, <clears throat> that's when the wrench comes in handy. I'll take the wrench, just put it around the body like so. Make sure it's good and snug and just turn it. Give it a few good turns. I want to make sure it's in there good and snug. You should have a decent amount of resistance when you're doing this. It's brass though, so you don't want to do it too much or you'll strip the threads. Brass is real sensitive metal. So I'm just going to give it one more good turn to straighten it out. Mm, that looks pretty good. Yeah. So now the Y splitter's on. I might see if I can give it one more good turn. can actually so I'm gonna give it one more good turn. I'm trying not to break nothing and I'm not breaking anything but uh, I was able to get one more good turn in there. So no there should not be any leaks. Ta-da! There you have it. So where I was is I put the Y splitter on right? Now I have it on my regulator and it's it's getting snug. I'm pretty confident. Uh, I didn't chew it up really too much, just maybe a little bit there. But it's on there and I don't ever plan on taking it off. <laughs> so next, what I need to do is take my hose from, uh, actually, I'm going to put a little more tape on the end here. <clears throat> Need that much tape. So let's think about this again. Threading this way. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap some more on the end here. I don't like that they didn't wrap too much on there. On there originally, or uh, Midwest didn't wrap a lot on the end. So 
I wrap some more on there. Ta -da. So beautiful. So now I'm gonna put this in my Y splitter. So I want my uh, CO2 line here, and this will go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good twist in there. Just twist the regulator on until you start getting resistance. Then we'll have to use the wrench and get now yeah, I've met resistance. So. This thing has a little hex nut on top so you can take it and use it to continue screwing into your regulator. <coughs> Pardon my coughs. Air quality isn't the greatest today. Pollen all over the place, etc. You know. The life of a Houstonian. Alright. Uh, let's keep going with it. I've had a little slippage here. Try some, but yeah, I'll screw this on. Figured I'd share this with y'all. Why not? In case any of you guys are looking to put a Y splitter on your kegerator system, this also. Uh, if you want to have multiple kegs, you don't feel like buying one of those big distribution manifold deals, you can just use one of these. Me, I just want it for my as a dedicated line for my gas for my gun. So, man, that's on there pretty snug. There you have it. Dedicated gas hose for my beer gun. Ta-da! You know, shut it on and off as I need to when I'm not using it. Just flip it off. <coughs> All right, now this part. This guy has to go on. And yeah, that's why I didn't want to put this on first. Because if I put this on, I'm trying to put this on, and I have to twist it. I'll twist this all up. So um, this hose is loose and free. Kind of gather it all up if I need to to do this part. The other part is put this on first and then put your hose on. But hey. I had already put the hose on, so whatever. <laughs> All right, a little bit of some plumber's tape on this. Has to go this way. Pardon my French. Okay, it's on there. Ta da. Oops. Nice and on there. So now, time to put it on my Y splitter. I'm just going to take it, twist the regulator again. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Don't hook your beverage, ho beverage hose or your other your gun hose up first. Pain in the ass. I already got it hand snug as I can, so now I want to tighten it with the wrench to the best of my ability. Oh yeah, I can give it a few good turns here. That looks like that's going to be enough. Just need to straighten it. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have a Y splitter hooked into my regulator. So, this line is for my beer gun, and this line is for my kegerator. So, 
I'm going to now check for any leaks by uh, connecting the or turning the CO2 on here. So let's go ahead and set you here, maybe. So now I'm going to hook my line back up, <clears throat> or not my line. And I'm going to put my tap rate regulator back on to my CO2 tank here. So I screw it on. Alright. Nice. Right, take my wrench. Probably be better seeing it from this angle. I'm going to take my wrench here. Can snug her down. Just like that. Now time to check for leaks. I have some soapy some soapy water here. So I'm gonna check for any like bubbles. Make sure that I'm not having any gas leaks anywhere. You know? So let's do it. Just turn everything should be good to go. That's back on. You can hear the gas flow into my kegs. <clears throat> if I turn that off, I don't hear any, I don't hear any leaks. So let's see if I can just kind of spit some soapy water on there. We want to see if there's any bubbles. I'm not seeing any. No, I don't see any bubbles at all. I think I uh, got it on there good, leak free. <clears throat> so that is how you put on your Y splitter. Um, if I'm talking right close to the mic, I apologize. But anyways, <clears throat> that's how you put on your Y splitter. You basically, you can get this from Midwest Brewing Supply online. I'm not sure where else you can get it, but it's called W-Y-E. It's spelled W-Y-E. It's called a Y splitter. And you put it into your tap right regulator, whatever regulator you got. <clears throat> I think it's a quarter inch uh, on there. But, and then you put your kegerator lines here, or your gas lines in to your kegerators. In this case, I wanted to use it for a dedicated line for my last straw beer gun. And basically, when I'm not using the gun, I'll just tape this over something to keep crap from getting in it and just coil it up and set it over here somewhere behind the kegerator. But, yep, got good flow and no leaks, and I'm a happy person, so. <clears throat> I hope you guys learned something from that. This was just kind of an impromptu video. I just got to cut in a yard, hence my dirty shoes and grassy socks. <laughs> but hey, sometimes, sometimes there's not a, no preparation involved, so I hope y'all like that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Down at the bottom, just hit that subscribe button. And uh, there's a little icon somewhere here in my video. I think it's in the bottom right corner. Uh, there's a little icon. You can hit that as well. I thank you very much for your time. And have a great weekend. Cheers.